In Memphis today, a police encounter with two teenagers ended in a hail of bullets. An officer was killed along with an 18-year-old suspect. And we are learning tonight that that teenager was recently released from jail. Your CBS is Errol Barnett. This shootout began around 2 a.m. when Memphis police say officers responded to a call of a suspicious vehicle. As they were approaching the stationary vehicle with two teens inside, gunshots rang out from the vehicle. Three officers were struck by gunfire. Tragically, one of our officers lost his life. Officer Joseph McKinney, with the department three years, was killed. A second officer was taken to an area hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and a third was grazed by a bullet, treated at the scene. We have a family that's grieving now. We have a wife that's grieving now. Officials say both teenage suspects were shot during the gunfire, killing 18-year-old Jalen Lobley. In March, police say Lobley was arrested in a stolen vehicle and was armed with a semi-automatic weapon, altered to shoot like a machine gun. He was also charged at that time for two stolen vehicles and having a programming device commonly used to steal cars. The suspect was released at that time without bond. In the U.S. so far this year, 34 other officers have died in the line of duty, with 11 killed by gunfire. Memphis Mayor Paul Young. We know that we as a community have to do more uh, to hold violent offenders accountable. Now the local district attorney, that's Steve Mulroy, made clear today his office argued against releasing Lobley just last month because they already identified him as a high-risk offender. An investigation is underway, uh, but it raises the painful question, Nora, if both of today's deaths could have been avoided. It's a real issue in a lot of cities. Errol Barnett, thank you so much.